welcome back if you're new here my name is becca and today we have the start of another reading vlog so today is tuesday and it is the second day of spookathon and i'm actually doing surprisingly well considering that it's tuesday as you guys know mondays are always hell for me which is why i rarely ever start a vlog on a monday but yesterday you know i did pretty well so as some of you may know i was running a poll to see which thriller i would be reading for spookathon and on monday i was awaiting the results of that because it only finished at 1 30 pm but i needed to take a book to work to read on my lunch so i took sea witch with me by sarah henning i am now up to page 234 in this however i did the not start this from the beginning i started at page 116 so i've read about 120 pages 70 of which i read yesterday this book is super quick to read like i have 100 pages left and i could read it in like less than an hour and a half for those of you that don't know this is a origin story for the sea witch from hans christian anderson's the little mermaid and i haven't been loving it it kind of just feels like a generic young adult fantasy it's written quite simplistically and i feel like my main problem with it is that i don't feel any connection with the characters it follows this group of friends there's two girls and a boy the boy is a prince and one of the girls drowns and then four years later a mermaid comes out of the sea but she has legs and she tells the main character that she used to be a mermaid but she's traded her life for like four days on land or whatever and essentially if something doesn't happen then she's going to die but i don't care like i don't care if she dies i just i'm not bothered <laughs> i don't know it's gonna be either a two or a three stars for me i think probably a three because i don't think the book is bad there's just something stopping me from connecting with the characters and i'm not sure if that's the writing style or whether that's just me not really gelling with this book so the book that won the poll is the one that i'm going to be starting this evening and that is night film by marisha pestle as you know this is a chunky book for a readathon. And I'm also actually going to be buddy reading this with my friend Najwa, who I believe is starting a booktube channel soon, although she hasn't yet, she's really busy with school. But we are going to be buddy reading this and it breaks down at around 97 pages per day. So that's intense. However, it has a lot of mixed media content in it. Like I know the first 25 pages, there's five pages of text and then like 18 pages of mixed media. So I'm hoping that that's going to keep it like quite quick and mean that I can actually get through it in this week. This one follows a cult horror film director and his daughter is found dead and they believe she's committed suicide. But there's a journalist who has a love-hate relationship with the director and I think he like investigates something i guess in the death of the daughter don't know much because it's a thriller but i am really excited especially about that mixed media the cool thing about this as well like i don't know I, I haven't heard this said i think before but if you go to the back there are little symbols like this that are throughout the book and if you download an app then there's extra visual and audio content to go with it so that's super interesting and i will be checking that out i'm using this for the challenge to read a thriller which is the main challenge for spookathon and i'm also using it for the challenge to read a book with pictures so doubling up on this one so definitely hope i can get it done and i didn't mention but see which is to read a book with a spooky word in the title and that would be witch so that's where i'm at at the minute i am going to go and get a shower then i'm going to light a few candles and read night film i will maybe check in at the end of the night if not then definitely tomorrow let you know how far i've got with that and whether i'm enjoying it because i'm kind of hyped but also nervous
Hey guys, so we're now on Thursday and I haven't finished a book yet, but I have made a lot of progress in Night Film by Marisha Pestle. As I told you before, I was buddy reading this with Najwa and we're actually doing really well. Najwa is a little bit behind, but I am actually managing to stay on track, which is surprising because we're reading... Hello. Because we're reading like 97 pages a day, which is a lot. I'm on page 238, so I'm like 40 pages into our section to read for today. I'm confident that I'm going to get that done. Ideally, at some point soon, I would like to get to a point where I finish my section of this early enough that I can go back and finish Sea Witch. But at the minute, I'm just really enjoying this story. Now that I've started it, I can give you a better synopsis. So we are following this journalist called Scott McGrath. And Scott McGrath was an investigative journalist and he had a really good job and he was really successful up until a point where he received an anonymous phone call regarding this elusive director who made cult horror films that were really dark and disturbing. This anonymous phone caller revealed something about the director and so when the journalist was on national television he took the liberty to say that the director was quite twisted and that sort of ended his career because he was sued for libel. From then the director's daughter has been found and it has been assumed that she has committed suicide. However the journalist knows that there is something up with the director even though he jumped the gun last time and maybe revealed some stuff before he had conclusive evidence and so he follows the trail of what she did in her last days. What are you doing? I'm putting that in the vlog. And the things that he starts to find are a little bit unsettling and don't make sense. I don't really know where this story is headed and I'm almost halfway. By the end of today, I'm going to be halfway. So I'm really enjoying it. I love all the mixed media, which is like case files and website pages. I actually really get on with the narrator now. At the beginning, I was struggling a little bit because I don't relate to him at all. He's a middle-aged man who's divorced. He's a journalist, he's American nothing to do with my actual life. So for the first like 50 pages, I did struggle to sort of get into his head, but now that I'm there, I am really loving it. So, so far I've read about 350 pages for Spookathon, which is pretty good. I mean, I know that I can read more than 100 pages a day, but with me being in a slump throughout September, that hasn't been the norm for me. So I'm really happy that it's got me reading again at like 100 pages per day. And I'm hoping that after Spookathon, I can continue this trend. But that's all I have for you right now, guys. I'm gonna go eat some pizza and I'll catch you later. Hey guys, so it's Saturday afternoon and I've just finished filming four videos, but I thought I'd just come on and update you on my progress in night film while you know I've got my extra makeup on thought I might as well just make the most of it so I'm on page 378 I'm almost up to the section that I should have finished yesterday I've started to lag behind a little bit which is annoying but I am really enjoying it I do think it's quite slow and I, I don't know if it's just me because I'm not experienced in thrillers but I don't feel like as the story is progressing, I'm finding out anything more. Like I still don't know what happened to Cordova's daughter. 378 pages in. I'm finding out things about Cordova. I'm finding out all the things that happened to her in the few days up until her death. But I I don't know what happened to her. Like I still don't, I just still don't know. And I don't have any theories. I don't know. I mean, does that mean it's a good thriller? Does that mean that it's just dragging on through hundreds of pages and not making any progress? One thing I will say that I do really like about this is that similarly to how Taylor Jenkins Reid makes Evelyn Hugo seem like a real person, this book makes Cordova seem like a real person. So it's almost like you've spent all your life wondering about this elusive director and every snippet of information that the main character finds out you like get really excited as though Cordova is a real person. So I will give it that, like it's making me really, really like want to know what's happening and interested in Cordova. But I don't know. I am enjoying it. I like want to read it. I just, I, I think it's cause I'm so experienced in thriller, inexperienced in thrillers. Like I don't even know how to begin to rate them on whether they're actually good or not. Enjoyment I can do obviously because I read the book but actually knowing whether they're good or not I'm not very good at that. But that's pretty much where I'm up to on that. Like I said I filmed four videos, three of them are Halloween related so I thought I'd go a little bit extra with the makeup and I'm actually really enjoying this. 
definitely not a daytime look like it's definitely too heavy and the lipstick like it's coming off and that is because it's not lipstick it's vaseline and purple eyeshadow so that's wearing off and it's not looking too great now but i'm enjoying this look i like it you know anyway I'm gonna go and do some more filming because I have this to unbox. Like, I've filmed the intro, but I'm doing like a top down view for the unboxing. This is the All Hallows Wonder Crate from Ink and Wonder. I'll put a link down below if you're interested. But yeah, there's an unboxing coming for this on my channel soon. And I'm really excited. I've had this since yesterday and I haven't opened it and I don't know how I've managed to control myself. But it's time and I'm excited. So I'm gonna go do that. Hey guys, so it's now Sunday afternoon, it is 2 p.m. And I didn't read as much as I should have done yesterday, so I have 130 pages of night film left. I've also just realized something about an hour ago. I realized that I'm going to Leeds tomorrow to a concert after work, which means I'm not going to be home tomorrow to edit my tag video for Tuesday, which means that needs doing today the phone's ringing oh no okay so i answered the phone um fun story it was my neighbor and she told me never to love a man and to dangle what i have in front of them but never give them everything so there's that <laughs> back to what i was saying i realized i'm going to leeds tomorrow and i don't have time to edit my tag video because I, i'll be in leeds which means i have to do that today and i also have to do the vlog today because i didn't do what i normally do when i did most of it on saturday but before i finish this vlog i'm determined to finish night film so i have a complete book for spookathon so my day is getting stressful but i have a plan and my plan is that i'm going to read to page 500 which is 42 pages and then i'm going to edit my tag video try and finish the book cooking dinner somewhere in the midst of all this then edit the vlog and get it up i will let you know how that goes throughout the day wish me luck okay guys so it's like 6 45 pm and i have not finished night film by marisha pestle I have made some progress. I'm on page 528. I was on like page 460 when I last updated you. So I've read 80 pages. I'd also read like 50 pages before that today. So I have less than 80 pages left. So I may still be able to finish this, but I'll have to let you know in next week's vlog. If I do manage to finish this, then I will have completed two challenges for Spookathon, which is the main one to read a thriller and the other one is to read a book with pictures and as I've shown you before, this has mixed media content in it. This book, I do kind of like it, but I don't understand it yet. Less than 80 pages to go and I don't really know what's going on. There is a scene in this, there's one chapter that's 75 pages long and it's like the batshit crazy section of the Hazelwood. And if you have read The Hazelwood, you will know what I mean. You have like a normal section, a really weird middle section, and then the third section's like a fever dream. So there is a section like that in this. I'm excited to see how this is going to wrap up because I'm coming to the end of it. <laughs> and it's been a long haul and it's a very, very long book for a thriller. So I'm really interested to see how it's going to wrap up. And it is either going to be... A three or a four star for me I think I, I don't think it has potential to be a five unless the ending just blows me away but at the minute every time something new is revealed and the story goes in a different direction I'm kind of like what the fuck so probably gonna be a four or a three if the ending is really bad but that's where I'm up to with that the other thing I kind of wanted to talk to you about is I wanted to give you a heads up about a flash sale that I'm going to be having on my website on Tuesday so this vlog is going up on Monday and then the entirety of Tuesday, there will be a flash sale on my website. The timings are going to be GMT. So roughly, I will announce it on my Instagram. 
probably from 8 a.m gmt however the code will have been activated from midnight so actually it's bst we're in british summertime at the minute so 8 a.m bst up until midnight bst but if you've already seen this you will be able to get access to the sale from midnight bst and i have very limited supplies of some of these candles in stock but anyway the reason i'm doing the flash sale is because tuesday's kingdom of ash release day so the four throne of glass candles on my website will be five pounds each instead of eight pounds just for that one day so the four candles we have the first one is lord of the north which you've seen before green top and it smells of spruces fir northern pine and amber this one is after the stag of terracin the second one is the other one that you've seen before fire breathing bitch queen with a little lava top this one is honey vanilla and cinnamon spice so there's that one too the two that you haven't seen or that I haven't showed in my vlogs, The Darkness Between Stars, which is Mandarin, Orange, Spice, Oak Moss, Amber and Vanilla. This is a Man and Black Beat candle. We have red, black and silver glitter on it. And this is like a sweet, perfumey type one. And then my signature Throne of Glass candle is Rattle the Stars. This is the first one that I ever did. And this one is Melon, Mandarin, Star Jasmine and Vanilla. Gold glittery top. So if you want to pick up any of these candles on Tuesday, the code is going to be in the description box down below because I still need to set it up. It's going to either be KOA or Kingdom of Ash. And you just enter that in at checkout and it will knock the money off these. Add them to your basket individually don't go for any of the like bundles that i have because the discount won't be applied to the bundles it'll only be applied to individual candles limited stock of some of them especially this one i think i have limited stock of and i don't think i have too many of those but yeah if you want those the link to my website is in my description box as always and you can pick them up as a bargain on Tuesday. So that's everything for my Spookathon vlog. Please let me know down below how you have done with Spookathon and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. I'm going to go now because it's getting late and I need to shower and I haven't started editing this vlog because my life is a mess this week. But that's it from me guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you will go where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no